Okay, let's do this. Sure, let's go. Nga! Quit screwing around and start! I my On your mark, get set. Wow, Kona-chan, that was so amazing. You're so good at sports and I always wondered, how come you don't join a team or anything? Because if I got on a team and started playing sports, I'd miss all of my primetime anime shows. <laughs> Hey, Tsukasa, which end of a chocolate cornet do you eat first? Huh? Um, I think I started the head. Really? So which side of this thing's the head anyway, the fat part or the skinny? I always thought that this end of it, the thin one, was the head. Oh, see, I always thought the fatter end was the head. So why do you think the thinner end's the head? Doesn't it look like a seashell? Hmm. Why do you think it's the fatter end? I always thought it looked more like a caterpillar. Uh, a caterpillar? Yeah, but when you think about it, I guess a seashell's a much better image. Um, you know... There's another way to eat it. Tear off the thin end and dip it in the chocolate cream on the fat end. <laughs> Good idea! Ah, it figures you'd know that. You're so smart, Miyuki-san. Well, not really. Everyone has their own way of eating one. How about cream puffs? How do you eat them? Huh? How do I eat a cream puff? That's easy. I split it in half horizontally, then I take the top half and dip it into the cream in the bottom part. Then, after most of the cream is gone, I start eating the bottom. I find that if I eat it that way, it keeps the cream from spurting out, and I can have equal amounts of cream and pastry in each bite. Huh. What do you do about the ones that have both custard and cream? Do you have a system to eat those? Do you mix the flavors together? No, I don't have a system for those per se. Wait, how exactly does one mix the flavors? Uh, just asking. When do you eat the strawberry on a strawberry shortcake or a chestnut on top of a Mont Blanc? Let's see now. It depends on the amount of strawberries that are sandwiched between the layers of sponge cake. With the strawberries, the whipped cream, and the sponge cake, I paste it so that I can get a bit in each and every bite. So getting to the strawberry on top of the cake is always different for me. Hmm, that's hmm. a solid move. When I eat it, I always save the strawberry on top for last. Sometimes I get so full that I can't eat it, and other times someone in my family comes along and takes it away. And that's why you should always eat your favorite part first. Come to think, I've never seen anyone take Kagami's strawberry away from her. That's Kagami for you. She's sharp. Here's one. Can you eat the very last bite of an ice pop without dropping it? Mm -hmm. Wait, you drop it? If you don't eat it the right way... <sighs> It falls off, doesn't it? Yes. How do you do it, Kona-chan? I suck it off the stick. Oh. Or
Or maybe you could just turn it around while you eat it like this. Oh, that's a good idea. And then there's soft serve ice cream, which I'm not very fond of. <gasps> What's wrong with it? I hate how you're always left with an empty cone at the end of it. You're right. There's never any ice cream left, just the cone. I always try to push the ice cream further and further down into the cone as I eat it. But how in the world do you do that? While I eat, I do a push and shove thing. A push and shove thing? You try to balance everything out, don't you? I suppose. Oh, here's another one. How do you eat curried rice? Do you mix the curry with the rice? No, but I do try to have equal amounts of curry and rice left over for my last bite. I like mixing it up. How do you eat it? It all depends on the curry. If I pour some sauce on it or drop a raw egg on top, then I mix it up. You put sauce on curry? Oh, yeah, it's tasty. Do you put sauce on fried eggs, too? Nope, I put soy sauce on fried eggs. Oh, huh? see, when I use that, I use mayonnaise. Mayonnaise on fried eggs, but not on hard-boiled eggs? Mm-hmm. You know, mayonnaise is good with pretty much every egg dish. You put it on curry, too? Mm-hmm. I put mayo on white rice and on beef bowls. It goes good with that sweet broth. Oh, and on parent chow bowls, too. You know how the chicken's the parent and the egg's the child? And how mayonnaise is made from eggs, too? I just put a little blob of it on top, and I call that the relative bowl. Hmm. And I used to really hate nacho beans, but if I put some mayonnaise on them, I can eat them. Ugh, I can't imagine that. Oh, but the tastiest thing has to be when you put mayonnaise right on top of some soft-boiled eggs. Even the fried eggs are half-cooked at my house. Really? Yep, that's just how my dad likes his eggs. I guess it's because he always liked to suck on the yolk. So if you fry the egg too much, then the yolk gets too hard and my dad can't suck the yolk out. So, how do you eat chicken skewers? What do you mean, how? Do you eat it right off the skewer, or do you pull it off with chopsticks? Let me see. When I'm alone, I'll eat it off the skewer. But when I'm eating in public or with company, I'll use chopsticks to pull it off. Yeah, and don't you feel weird when there's only one piece left on the plate? Yes, the last bite certainly makes things awkward at the table. And then it gets later and later and no one eats it. It gets all dry and stale and it's not looking so tasty and no one really wants to eat it, but they don't want to say anything. And then the waiter comes over to take the plate and you're like, whoa, we're still eating that! In the end, we all go home without eating that last bite. Oh, that's such a waste. I feel sorry for it. Oh, with Korean barbecue, I feel sorry for the meat that's left on the grill that turns to charcoal. Well, at a Korean barbecue, you're always eating and chatting at the same time, so you get a little distracted. And when you're grilling beef tongue with green onions, that cooks really fast. Oh, you're so right. It's already done cooking by the time you flip it over, isn't it? Wait, you flip it over? Huh? You flip it over. Mm. You should never flip beef tongue with green onions. Why shouldn't I flip it? Because if you flip it over, all the green onions on top will fall into the grill. Yeah, I guess you're right. You don't need to flip it over at all. You roast it on one side and the heat cooks it all the way through. I get it. I guess I'll do that from now on. You absolutely positively never flip it. Never flip it. Ever. <sighs> oh. Which end of a chocolate cornet is the head, the fat end or the skinny end? Such a bad boy. What's with all the kidnappings lately? I mean, these guys imprison girls and force them to call them master and stuff? It's sick. Oh. I think it's about guys playing way too many dating sims and erotic games. The master-slave thing is a pretty common scenario, you know. Oh yeah, like you'd know all about that. Wait, you're in the 11th grade. How do you know about erotic game scenarios? <laughs> La Vista. You're amazing. You're always at the top of the class. Huh? Don't you have any faults, Miyuki-san? It's a little embarrassing, but I guess I tend to think about things too much. So much that I end up spacing out. I sometimes cut my finger using the veggie slicer. <gasps> sometimes I'll trip on my feet and fall down. Or a corner of my tote bag will get caught in the train's door. Wow! Whoa, hold it. Miyuki-san, those aren't called faults. People call those moe points. Huh? Moe points? Clumsy is sexy. Kona-chan, what have you been thinking this whole time? How come you wear glasses? I mean, you're really pretty, but you can only appeal to a tiny section of the fan base. <laughs> appeal to? Besides the whole popularity thing, don't glasses actually make your vision worse? How come you never switch to wearing contacts? Well, it's a little embarrassing to admit now that I'm in high school, but I suppose you could say... I'm afraid of contact lenses! Actually, I'm pretty scared to put anything into my eyes. I can't even open my eyes underwater. Damn, she's a 
natural airhead. A total cutie pie. Hey, isn't that Miyuki-san over there? Huh? I wonder if she broke down and decided to get some contacts. Uh, I guess she's probably better off with the glasses after all. That must have hurt. And she's that way naturally. Kagami's staying home because she's got a cold, huh? Mm-hmm. But at least she's only got a cold and not the flu, you know? Thankfully, I'm stupid, so I don't have to worry about catching flus and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that works with the cold, but I didn't know it was the same for the flu. I thought the flu was the deluxe version of the cold. You saying that colds and flus are two different things? I, I guess I think they're different things. Or maybe they aren't. I don't know anymore. I'm kind of confused now. Oh, the difference between influenza and a cold? Mm -mm. Let me see now. Influenza is a viral illness with many symptoms such as fever and muscle aches. If it's not treated, there's a risk of more serious complications. On the other hand, the symptoms of a cold are sore throat and a runny nose, and the fever doesn't run as high. Those are just a few of the symptoms that differ from the flus. Huh. So to answer your question, yes, they are different illnesses. Oh, really? Oh, but then again, colds and flus do share many common traits. I guess one could say a flu is sort of a scaled-up version of a cold after all. I knew it! Hmm. Why are you oh. looking so serious, huh, Konachan? Oh, it's nothing. Just something that's been bugging me since our conversation this morning. Huh? The one about colds and flus? You didn't disagree with me when I said I was stupid, did you, Tsukasa? Wait! It's not like that! Hello, Kanata-chan. Come in. She came by to visit Sis. Oh, thanks for coming to see her. No worries, I'll just go up. Thanks. <laughs> Kagami sure is cute when she's sleeping, isn't she? How'd you get into oh, my room? Okay. What are you she's doing here? Get now. out! Huh? You came by for a visit? All the way out here to see me? Yep, that's right. Oh, no, I appreciate the thought, but I'd feel terrible if you caught this thing. Oh. This makes me so happy. She's all worried about me because of that new virus that's going around. I thought the only thing she cared about were games and anime, but now this is so touching. Hmm? Okay, so uh, I'm gonna copy that homework we got the other day. But you don't have to get up, you cute little sleepy face, you. Out! Kagami! Miyuki-chan's come over to visit you. <sighs> okay. May I come in? Oh, I hope this isn't too much trouble. Not at all. You should be resting, though. Here's Thank a little you. something. I'm feeling a lot better now. I took some medicine so my fever's down. Here. Wow, you brought me flowers and fruit. You shouldn't have. Come on, sit down. Oh, thank you, I will. I had thought of coming by to visit you with Izumi-san. Unfortunately, I just couldn't seem to find any time. I'm sorry. No, really, it's fine. Uh, I almost forgot. I brought you the minutes from the last committee meeting. Oh, well, thank you. Have a look at it when you can, but only when you're feeling up to it. There's no rush. Mm. There's that, and I have the budget requests for each club here. What else was there? Let me see now. Let's see. Oh, but you're not feeling well right now. I should go home so you can rest. Now this is what a visit should be like! <laughs> what do you mean? What happened? Well, you know how Konata came by yesterday? That's what happened. Maybe that was just Izumi-san's funny little way of showing you she cared. Perhaps the bit with the homework was her attempt at cheering you up, Kagami-san. And maybe she was trying not to wake you up, but couldn't help noticing you as you slept. And that would certainly explain how she saw you sleeping. I never would have thought of it that way. Is this girl a saint or something? Oh, I just realized. I haven't seen Tsukasa-san today. Morning. Are you feeling any better today, sis? You need anything? Look at that. My sister isn't even sick and she's more relaxed than I am. Well, it's not like I'm always sleeping in this late, really. Today's like spring sleep dawn something or other. Oh, by the way, good morning! Oh, I know how that is. Lately, even I'm having trouble waking up in the morning. Yeah, I know, and I've been so sleepy lately. Me too. It's especially warm out today, so that doesn't help either. Mm -hmm. Isn't it, though? You really can't help it. Wasn't it warm a couple days ago during our break? It was. When I woke up, it was just starting to get dark. I spent the whole day sleeping. Can you believe it? It's a good thing if you can rest up when you have the day off. Yeah, but the thing is, I was in my pajamas. 
pajamas all day. Oh, like today. <laughs> I had no idea those were your pajamas. Oh, yeah, they're my jammies. I think they're adorable. Why, they don't even look like pajamas. You think so? Yes. Do you think it's okay if I wear them all day? I think you could even go outside in them. I Jeez, would someone get to the punchline already? It's gone up a little. No, wait. The bra that I'm wearing has underwires and extra padding. That's why I'm heavier today. Yeah, that's it, yeah. I wonder how much that is in grams. If I just subtract... <sighs> it's over. I totally screwed up. I forgot I had a physical exam today, so I wore my character print underwear. I'm so embarrassed now. I'm still short. <laughs> How dare you look happier than the rest of us, damn you! Hey, I'm here now. Oh, hi, sis. I just thought of something. Hmm? You always come here to hang out. What's the deal? Don't you have any friends from your own class? <gasps> Unlike you, I have friends. Are you trying to pick a fight? No, I just thought they were avoiding you as all. Why don't you worry about yourself for a change and get to work on those social skills? Social skills? What are you talking about? See, even though I look like this, I've got about a hundred friends. Both my social and my bargaining skills are actually pretty high. Oh, and I go to parties every night. Huh? And with my allies, I strive to restore the light to the crystals, rescue the kidnapped princess, and save the world from Ruin. Wait, you're talking about a game! Oh yeah, I haven't seen that guy in a while. What guy? She's talking about one of her game buddies. Hmm, <laughs> he's a warrior class character who wanted to improve his hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. He left to train somewhere else where there's lots of monsters, but hasn't come back yet. Uh, mm, I heard from someone else that he's camping out in one of the underground caverns. I wonder if he's alright though, being all cooped up down there like that. Everyone's worried about him. How do you get cooped up in a game? Trust me, it happens. I don't know, but by the looks of his login info, he's been playing the game nonstop for days. Cooped up in the real world, too, huh? Whatever, it's the same guy in both worlds. I always wanted to ask you guys this. How'd the two of you become friends, anyway? Tsukasa was about to be kidnapped by some big, suspicious foreign dude. I just happened along, saw what was going down, and jumped in. I unloaded a front punch whirlwind kick combo attack on him and rescued her from that creep. Why does everything you talk about revert back to gaming? Hey, I was just doing what any other skilled martial artist would have done, you know? I don't approve the use of hasty violence, but you did save her. The thing is that the foreigner was just asking me for directions. I couldn't understand what he was saying, though, and that's when Konachan came by. <gasps> Wait, that's no good! How can you be so smug about it? Oh, that's right. It's that time of year again, isn't it? What are you talking about? I just remembered that baseball season's starting soon. Oh, do you not like watching sports and stuff, Konachan? I sort of figured you'd love watching sports because you're so athletic. If a game goes into extra innings, it's guaranteed to totally screw up the late night programming schedule for anime. Or even worse, they could end up canceling the broadcast for that night. It sucks when something you like disappears, doesn't it? When do you eat the strawberry on top of a strawberry shortcake? Why do you want to know? I was just wondering if you like to save your favorites for last. I guess I save my favorite stuff for the last bite, although with strawberries it depends. Beef tongue with green onions, you cook both sides? Beef tongue with green onions? Hmm, it cooks pretty fast, but I guess if you roast it on both sides it'll get done quicker. You can't, the green onions fall off. But you put the green onions on it after the meat's been cooked. But if you do that, the onions won't get roasted. But the green onions are just a topping, aren't they? Man, you just don't get it at all. Wait, maybe you can cook it both ways. Oh, which end of a chuckle cornet is the head? Is it the fat end or the skinny end? Hmm. The fat end? Wow, guess we agree on that. Uh, you're kidding. Okay, so which end do you eat first? Hmm, don't you tear off the thin end and dip it in the chocolate and the fat end? Hmm. Uh. <laughs> do you have any other friends besides us and the ones that you have in video games? Oh yeah, I used to have this really good friend back in junior high school. Oh, you actually had one. Yeah, but I haven't talked to her in a while. I wonder what she's up to these days. Oh. You know, I remember in our junior high yearbook, she wrote that her big dream in life was to become a maid. So she was a geek too! Lucky Star. Lucky Channel! Hi, Luckies! It's time for the first ever episode of Lucky Channel! So throw your hands up in the air and say yay! And a big hello to all the viewers tuning in! I'm Akira Kogami, and I'll be your navigator. And I'm Shira Ishii. Who's that? Just kidding! Allow me to introduce you.
introduce me, Noru Shiraishi. He's gonna be my number one assistant. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, well, I am Minoru Shiraishi, and I will be Akira-sama's assistant from now on. Howdy. My, my, my! You're so tense, Shiraishi-san! Come on now, you're finally on TV! Loosen up, you big stick <laughs> in the mud, you! Kitty! Sorry, I'm just not used to this. I know it's only our first show, but we've already got bunches of letters from viewers just like you! Okay, we got a letter here from a viewer in Osaka calling themselves I Love Berico. Dear Lucky Channel, congratulations on your first ever episode! Thank you, thank you! By the way, I've got a question for Akira-san. You are referred to as a super idol by everyone, including yourself. How much money do you make as an idol? Please tell me. What, I'm paid? Yes. You know, this question's kind of personal, so maybe we should move on. Yeah, you know... What are you thinking asking a question like that? Uh, Akira-sama? Well, it totally depends on the job. You know, some gigs are cheap, some are really cheap. Either way, I get paid a flat fee from the production company, so who knows how much money those guys are skimming off the top. I've been in this business since I was three years old, and every cent of my pay still gets direct deposited into my parents' bank account. So all I get is a small allowance, and believe me, it's tiny. <clears throat> Come to think of it, Mama's been buying a lot of brand name bags lately. She couldn't be spending the money from this show already. <coughs> you vampire! Just oh, because Dad stopped sending wait, money after the divorce, so you're gonna suck me dry now, huh? I don't think I have some kind of super power to me. Huh? Oh no! It's time for us to say goodbye. I'm so sad now. <sighs> Please send us your questions and comments. If you guys have ideas or opinions about the show, or if you want to tell me how much you love me, start sending those letters, okay? Is there anything you want to add, Shiraishi san uh, Right, so I hope you guys tune in to see us next episode. See ya! I heard they're giving you a part in the show. Is that right? Huh? Where'd you hear that? We don't karaoke together enough. To tell you the truth, I hardly ever go to places like this. Come on, we've only got two hours, so start singing, people. Stop being so pushy. Two hours is plenty of time. I have to say, this show is exciting. It's so fun. I like how after you sing, you feel really good. Anyone see the catalog? Catalog? Yeah, the catalog. The catalog. You know, the thing with all the song numbers in it. You mean this? Right on. I'm going first. Hang on. Wait, you just entered three songs? Yeah. It's way better if you load it up. Uh, uh, uh. What song is this? We gotta start with this one. On the next episode of Lucky Star... Konata here. I'm so sleepy. How come on nights when you slept a lot, you'd wake up even sleepier the next morning? Kinda defeats the purpose of getting a good night's sleep, doesn't it? Next time, efforts and results. Look forward to it! <laughs> <laughs>